Hi YouTube, it's Kelsey. Today I'm doing what's on my iPhone because I already have a video uploaded of what's on my iPhone but I wanted to make it better. So here I am doing that. But if you're new here, hi, I'm Kelsey. And if you're not new here, welcome back. Yay. Okay, let's get into the video. <laughs> you see when you open my phone is my lock screen and I'm on it just because I really like how pretty I look my outfit looks really nice the background is great and I think I look really happy and this is what my home screen looks like it is very simple I don't really touch the home screen or rearrange anything I just like how it looks already but one of the common apps that I use on this screen is my FaceTime app Google Calendar photos and camera so basically this top row I mostly use um, FaceTime app I use to FaceTime all my friends and family as you can see then I use my calendar because on my Google Calendar app I like to set reminders for me to post a YouTube upload like today I was going to post an app workout routine but I decided not to but I'm thinking I'm going to push it to either Saturday or sometime next week next I use my camera app to take my photos then this is where it goes to obviously and as you can see i already did a little mini photo shoot today and i'm probably going to edit one of these and post it on my insta and yeah that's basically it on my home screen um oh but i use the hawaii news now for like my local news since i live in hawaii and onto my second screen which is basically where the fun is at yay but um, yeah, so I have all my apps and subfolders just because I like clean screens and I like to find everything like that. I do not like to be trying to go back and forth trying to find the apps, so yeah. So my first folder is media, basically all my social medias. So this is the way I put it. I thought it was kind of cool and clever to put it the word spaced out and a thumbs up just because the thumbs up equals a like and I thought I was being really smart, so yeah. The first app is Facebook. I'm not going to go in there due to personal reasons, but I use Facebook Messenger, which I will go into. This is how I text message my friend who lives out of the country and the rest of my friends and family. Next is Twitter. This is my Twitter profile, so you should totally like and uh, follow because I just got it and yeah, I post a lot and I do a lot of memes. As you can see, I post score related YouTube videos memes and my youtube channel link is right there so hit that follow you know follow so the next is snapchat and as you can see who doesn't use snapchat yeah you should follow me this is my snapchat user next is the instagram app this is my insta profile i am active i'm not too active but i'm active and yeah you should follow me Next is TikTok. I am a TikToker. Wow. Oh, interesting. Is this Charlie? Wow. Those moves. Ooh. So yeah, this is my TikTok profile. I post pretty often. And yeah, I already have some stuff up and that's what that is. Next is Pinterest. I like to use Pinterest to look at new aesthetics outfit inspos recently i've been looking at nails as you can see there's nails and i've been looking at college dorm room ideas because i am a senior and i'm gonna go off soon so yeah i've been looking at that next is wattpad this is a reading app i love wattpad because one is like free books and you don't have to buy anything and there's a lot of good books in here you just have to really search and really know what you're looking for to read now my next subfolder is school so first app is jupiter ed and this is how i check my grades for school and i can also email my teachers as you can see next is google classroom this is how they post my assignments for school because now we're going to do some online schooling so i'm about to literally have about eight of them soon next drive docs and slides you know that's like all my documents and stuff and how i check for notes and do my essays and presentations now next is my calculators app i have this here in my school folder just because i find it to be more convenient in my school category just in case i need to do some quick math thing and yeah 
Next is Kahoot. If you don't know what Kahoot is, wow, I'm sorry, but you're kind of missing out, especially that theme music. But um, yes, Kahoot is a great way to study and review, and it's like a it's a lot funner way. Next is Quizlet, and I'm pretty sure you know what Quizlet is, but this is how I study my vocabulary, look up, you know, homework, because, you know, sometimes there'd be the people that be posting the homework, and you know you can find it easily just like that. I know what you know what I'm talking about, but Quizlet, I'm just kidding. I just love Quizlet. Very easy, and it's, like, kind of already made for you, so, yeah. YouTube folder, I have, oh, wait, what is this have? JK, JK is my YouTube. This is where I put all my YouTube related things. So I have the YouTube app, of course. Then I have the YouTube Studio app, which helps me to check my views and all the other jazzy things. And then I have Fonto. This is how I create my thumbnails. If you would like to see how I create my thumbnails, then please leave a comment down below and I will gladly do a tutorial on how I edit my thumbnails. Next is the app over. Um, I heard this app was also really good for creating thumbnails, but I actually have not used it at all yet And I think I'm gonna delete the app later because I don't use it at all After that I have iMovie um, I just downloaded this app because I am going to be making some videos on here There are some cool hacks that you can do with the iMovie on your iPhone, so I plan to try those things out That's why that's there so my next subfolder is movies. This has my Netflix, the CW app, and Daily Motion. This is also where I watch all my TV shows as well. And Daily Motion, um, you have to have a lot of patience to find good quality TV shows and movies, but it is worth it. You just have to have the patience. And sometimes I can do it, sometimes I don't, but yeah. Lastly, my last folder is titled Other, just because these apps don't kind of fit in my other subcategory folders, so I just put it right here. So the first app is Spotify. I am a Spotify fan. I prefer Spotify over Apple Music. I'm sorry, don't come for me, but I just do. So yeah. Then I have Hooji. I love this app. You come out with great, cute photos. And honestly, I heard people stop using this app, and I don't get why. This app is so iconic and amazing. And after that, I have my Visco. This is how I edit all my Instagram photos. As you can see, this is my account or gallery, whatever. I don't really post over here, but I do edit a lot of my photos right here, as you can see. Next is Shazam. This is just how I find new songs, like if it's playing on a radio or I'm in class and you know those people who want to be obnoxious and just play music out loud but then low key it actually sounds kind of good so then you just want to find out what the song is but I'll um, show that you actually like the song so you just put on Shazam so yeah this is what it's for <laughs> I love it great next up is preview and basically what this app does guys I love it this is how I check if my photos match my theme on my Instagram and it's free. I tried to use this other app called UNUM and I was so sad because it was a great app but it makes you pay for the space and I'm like just to upload a photo to check if your photo matches your Instagram theme. I don't think so. But this app is really great. This is what I use it for. Next is my period app. Oops, sorry. This is my period app. This is how I track it. And what? Great. Great. Ugh, we just, it's just in the video right here. JK, JK. Next is the eraser app. And this is how I convert my pictures or really how I remove the background of an image. Let me give a little tutorial. Let's say I want to get rid of the background. Oh, let's just do this one, I guess. Let's say if I want to get rid of this background, I will press this button down here. Then I could either use my finger to erase the background. I could either do that. Or I can use target area, which is what I use right here, because it goes a lot faster. I just do this, and it just takes the whole thing out, but you have to go back and get everything else. And it won't... Okay, yeah, that's how you use the app, and this is how you take it off. And as you can see, it does that. Oh, and let's say if you made a mistake, like let's just say I did this. Ooh, wow, so much better, so much better. JK, but um, let's say you made a mistake like this, you can just press the button up here and it reappears everything back for you, so that's great. Next is Bitmoji, so you already know, that's for Snapchat, my little Bitmoji character. And 
then lastly this app over here is the followers app this is how I check to see who I'm following that's not following me back because you know we gotta find them can't have no sneaky little you know well, almost done down here is my control panel or aka my most common used apps which is my phone calling app Safari messaging and my school account email I use specifically for school and yeah and then on my home screen is of myself. Oh my gosh, yeah. I love this because look how happy I look. I think I look great. My outfit is nice and I'm on the beach. Like, it's just so pretty. So what's on my iPhone? If you enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of all my future videos and vlogs. All my social medias will be down in the description box, but but my Instagram is at I am Kelsey Bree, and I will see you next time. Bye.